Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. So as always, we have some updates and some shout outs. I'm gonna dive right into our shout outs for the week. So first, we're really thrilled to share that 11 RMHS students earned the Massachusetts State uh, Seal of Biliteracy. So as you know, as we've spoken about, uh, to qualify for the Massachusetts State Seal of Biliteracy, students must demonstrate a high level of proficiency in language other than English. Uh, students must also meet all RMHS graduation requirements and earners of the Massachusetts State Seal of Bioliteracy will have a seal affixed to their high school diploma, wear a medal at graduation, apply for a bioliteracy centered scholarships, and may receive college credit. Uh, the Massachusetts State Seal of Bioliteracy not only recognizes those who have taken a language offered in RPS, but also celebrates the diverse cultural and linguistic members of our community. So, as always, if you have more questions about this, you'll see a, a uh, contact information for Mr. Derek Ryan uh, and also a link to a website in the written newsletter. I would like to recognize those students right now, uh, the 11 students, Miguel Barrero, and that was in Spanish, Bryn Conley in Spanish, Charlotte Jalot in French, Vivian Greenwalt in Spanish, Corey Keogh in Spanish, Vivian Langlois in Spanish, Abigail Lebovich in Spanish, Nicholas Mazzarella in Spanish, uh, Julia Montero in Portuguese, Mengling Q in Mandarin Chinese, and Samuel Sacheni in Hungarian. So. What a tremendous accomplishment for those 11 students. Please join me in congratulating them. Second shout out goes all out to all of our school counselors. So as you may know, this was National School Counselor Week. It is really difficult to even uh, categorize all of the different ways that our counselors impact our school community each day. Our, you know, the relationships that they build with some students and the support they provide them, the way in which they uh, build a bridge between our families and resources in the community and the way in which our counselors support all of our staff members in developing plans uh, to meet all the individual needs of our students. So uh, if you see one of our counselors, please thank them for all that they do each day for our school community. So happy School Counselor Week. And our last shout out goes to all those involved with Family Math Night. You'll see some photos here. On Wednesday night, the Reading Public Schools, in collaboration with the Wakefield Public Schools, hosted a Family Math Night at Birch Meadow Elementary. We had great attendance from families from Wakefield and Reading who got to experience illustrative math lessons taught by our outstanding teachers, followed by a Q&A session. Uh, STEM coordinator Heather Leonard and Birch Meadow first grade teacher Talia Hallett wanted to shout out uh, our RPS teachers, Ariel Mucha, Ellen Camito, Stephanie Malone, and Victoria Bins for their instruction last night, So, or instruction earlier this week. So again, a huge thank you to all those involved to put on such a successful night for our families. I'd like to close with just two updates. The first update is uh, from CPAC. So you'll see a link to uh, see some visuals here around updates from CPAC. Uh, please save the date. There is an upcoming virtual training on Tuesday, March 21st. Uh, parents and professionals are welcome to join this extremely important discussion, um, which is titled Bullying, What Parents Need to Know. And we'll also cover the following topics. What is bullying? What are the school's legal obligations to prevent and address bullying? What are some strategies and tools for dealing with bullying and how to address bullying on the IEP? Some other opportunities provided through CPAC. One uh, is that this spring, as the community may know, is the inaugural season of the RMHS Unified Basketball Team for students in grades nine through 12, which we are really excited about. And also splash adaptive water exercises ages 18 plus. The program is open to on a first come first serve basis and is 100% free. So you'll see the CPAC newsletter for additional information and registration details. Um, the last uh, update, we had a, a teacher with the idea of saying in the spirit of Valentine's Day, ask if, uh, how about we ask our students, staff, and community members to share, think about sharing a one positive note with someone in the RPS community as a note of appreciation and just to share, you know, thank you, and help spread that uh, culture and spirit of appreciation um, as we get year up for Valentine's Day. So if you have a couple extra minutes, uh, take a minute to write a note or an email. We know that those notes of appreciation and thank you really do go a long way. So uh, thank you in advance for considering that. Uh, we hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and as always, go Rockets.